starting the video, Lance is looking for snacks. <laughs> starting the video, Lance is there looking for sunglasses. <laughs> we have found a barn find NASCAR stock car. It's we are already there. We're going to go check it out. We brought the Tesla out here into the country to this barn where supposedly a stock car is lurking behind. Absolute junkyard of a property here, but uh, supposedly behind this door, the owner is opening up for me right now uh, to check this thing out. Kind of excited. What's up, man? How you doing? My name's Spencer. Hey, I'm Lance. <laughs> uh -huh. um, yeah, I had this project I started on a little while ago, but I just kind of lost interest, but maybe it's something that'll work for you. All right. Oh, so this thing's a real hunka. You might not know it just by looking at it, it's, but it's not actually a stock car. All right, we're just messing around. This has been ours. It's been up in the barn for two years, year, I don't know, a long time, at least two years, actually. We put it on a Cadillac STS frame, this fiberglass stock car body, and I've been planning to make it a Earnhardt car forever. And so we're gonna get started a little bit further into that project today. This thing really does look like a barn find and it is not nice in any way, uh, but we had to keep it in the barn because rain gets in the dash here and then it won't start or do anything. It may not start, but it always kind of has. So hopefully we don't have any too bad of rodents or bees or anything in there. Uh, tires look to be up on that side. Tires are up the whole way around. How's that possible? <laughs> I'm just making sure. Not landing on a snake? Yeah, yeah. This would be a snake location, actually. I am 100%. And the easiest way I've learned to get into this thing is not through this because we have bars. Through the windows, you gotta go up here. Kind of just... Step in the passenger seat? Oh, no. Yeah, okay. I, I forget exactly. It's been a little bit. You wanna hook up your battery first? Not really. Okay. Oh, it's spider webs everywhere. Man. Not the anymore. Legs and everything. Nah, you just clean them out. Yeah, I did. You're good. Clean them out. Dude, what if you find one of those huge, huge spiders? Those like, those nasty ones. Are you getting a out? A spider? No, I don't know. Let me put a light on this thing. Yeah? Something happened. You're good. It needs a good battery. It's probably not gonna do it. Probably should have shut it off before. It... In the window? You really cannot do that. All right, I'll do the window. You gotta tear your shirt. No, you can't do the window. <laughs> the seat's like too. Well, maybe if I put the seat back. But... The uh, hood just about wanted to go. I watched it slide the whole way down the front. Yeah. Probably why they got those hood pins, the real ones. Yeah, probably. Not, they don't just lay them on there. You know, I don't know that the real NASCAR ones actually have a full HVAC system either. Like, <laughs> does AC work? Well, you want to be cool while you're going. Does AC work? In this? I don't know. How great would that be? I mean, the windows work. Yeah, true. All right. 
So let's just do a gentle wash. I mean, we can use the pressure washer a little bit, but it's no worse than what happens in a rainstorm. But let's just not flood the thing. Yeah, just try to. Well, I think just the dash area is really yeah. our concern. Okay. So we got to wash this thing up. Plan for today. Wash it up. I got, so we did tractor paint on it before from tractor supply and it did not turn out great. So I started sanding it down and then I realized that sucked and I gave up. So I got two cans of gloss Rust-Oleum, but I didn't just get the cheapest one. I got like mid-grade. Turbo? Not turbo. Then cannot find it. Literally Walmart Lowe's everywhere around us is out. They have it in flat black, but not in gloss. Mm. And then uh, top-notch decals. My buddies over there sent me a bunch of decals for this, and honestly, it's been like forever, and I promised them I would make a video, so I'm my bad on that. Uh, but uh, we're going to uh, see what we can do if we can get into some decals here and, uh, and then see which ones we need. We're trying to make it look as much like the 1998 Dale Earnhardt Daytona 500 car as we possibly can, and I got a fair amount of the stickers, but they like the stickers are extensive, so... We'll see what we got and if it see if we want to add more, take some away, you know, whatever. So uh, we're gonna go with that and uh, see what happens. Oh gosh. Yeah, you did that. Really? With yeah. what? You did it in here when you were like uh, the cat trying to maneuver it around at ATS. That's the thing. press. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Okay. We got her good and moist. Now it is not a perfect wash by any stretch. It's still pretty dirty, but we're just trying to get down to where we can start attaching these panels in a simple way. We're not doing anything crazy, just enough to keep the body in place and the panels from flying off going down the road. Cause we plan to do rollers on uh, the beginning of this video and then realized the hood and the trunk were gonna fly off. So we didn't do that. That should be good. Yeah. I think that'll be flat enough. All right. Uh, maybe this guy here. Yeah, actually. Oh, I want to take these hinges off. Okay. What's on my head? Nothing. Just a fly. Just okay. a fly. Okay. Okay. Should we check the oil first? Too late now. <laughs> maybe we'll pull in the garage okay. a little bit. Might have to do that. We, it's not the best light in the garage, but uh, we're in the area where the sun is. Yeah, we're dying out here. Two fat guys in the summer sun. Not a good look. Not a good look for anybody. Hood's in place, so we are good to start on the spray painting, the professional paint job. Granted, we already professionally painted it once and it turned out terrible, so oh well. We're hoping that the decals help it a lot. Try to get this side because it's got the uh, sanded area here. So yours should come out even smoother than mine, really. Really, it should, yeah. We have discovered that we're going to have to pull this inside because the overspray is drying instantly with the heat and it's creating like these dull sort of areas. The hood actually looks okay if you can keep everything wet, but if you hit any spots that have already sort of dried, it's just way too hot. So we're gonna push it into the garage here, try to cool it down a little bit, and hopefully then it'll uh, help that out a little bit. It looks so sick, man. <laughs> the paint is actually coming out kind of better than I thought maybe I don't know but it's coming out all right like it's coming out good enough for us and uh, once we get this overspray drying issue taken care of here when it cools down should be looking pretty good the decals are going to extract a lot there anyways so I think we're going to be all right we are going to go lay out all the decals just to see what we got because I honestly don't even remember which ones I bought <laughs> All 
All right, we got everything here. Now, I know, as I said before, that this is not a complete decal set, but it's enough to get the point anyways. And huge thanks to Top Notch Decals for doing all of the like Earnhardt specific stuff. A few of these things I picked up from actually like this is who made the race car body out there, five star bodies. They're not, I paid for it. They're not sponsored or anything like that. Um, and then these are just random sticker packs just to fill in a couple of the gaps if necessary. Wow, I have felt dumber very few times in my life than trying to install this on this straight line here. It was really tough to keep it straight. It's probably, it's it's not 100% even as it sits right now, but it's pretty close. You can even see that spot right there almost made me literally quit and just finish for the day and just be done. That's as good as it's going to get. I'm not, I might redo it someday, but I'm leaving that. The rest of it though, actually, I started to get the hang of it. I got the heat gun out. And that got a lot of bit better until I got up there and uh, I got some stones in it. So, but the actual surface is pretty flat. There's an air bubble here or there. This guy's a little tough to tell, but I think we're gonna put it right about there. It's just slightly further to the back than it is the front. So this pillar here should work. I don't think this one, you gotta be able to see both of them at once. So I think we'll be all right as long as I get it somewhat straight on here. Oh yeah, all oh, that looks good. Wow, all right.
Y'all, I have rarely been more happy in my YouTube career than putting the decals on this thing as frustrating as they were and it's so far from perfect but i don't even care okay the thing looks sick there is air bubbles and wrinkles everywhere and i don't even care i'm going to give you some of the things that we're going to like change one is i just got an automotive sticker pack off of ebay those were that was probably not the right choice because they're all the same size and way too small so we need to get ones that are like true um you know, bumper sticker size like this. This is actually correct on that, the Bud Pole Award one, but the rest of those, way too small, not the right ones. I knew that, I just wanted to take up some of the space there. Should be a big snap-on one here, and the three should have red around the outside. Um, I knew that, but it, it costs a lot more to uh, get ones that are like the double layer like that, and I just opted not to, and now that I got it, I'm like, ah, probably probably wish I would have went with that so I might try to do that the roof I think I would leave and the roof is the first one that I used liquid and I will say that the liquid made it a lot easier other than getting the sticker off of the like front piece of it <laughs> like the the wax paper was extremely difficult without it being stuck down and, uh, and there's still some bubbles in it but it did go a lot easier with that I would definitely go that route next time um yeah, lots of, lots of imperfections. We did get the Burger King, that's correct. All these are correct. Should have some threes right here. That should be a red um, Chevy emblem. I just don't have the little threes and I didn't have a red Chevy emblem, so I went with the gray one that I had. Um, yeah, you can see wrinkles there, nothing special. Another snap-on should go there. And I ran out, this is how close I was with my pinstriping. So I have to get a little piece of pinstriping to finish that out. Also gotta get, got to get the good year for here. I don't know what we're going to do with wheels and tires yet. I feel like I either need to just spray these black or get some steel wheels. There also should be some uh, sponsors up here. Otherwise, I feel pretty good about it. The only other thing that's like huge that I want to do is windshield. Like it, it really does need the windshield, but it's tough to find like the right thing without it being crazy expensive. So yes, not perfect, but overall I am super stoked. I am literally out of decals and out of time, so we are going to wrap it up right here. Let me know what you think of the Cadill Cadillacar, Cadill Cadillac NASCAR, whatever you want to call it. I am I am so happy. I think it's going to be fun. We'll do a parade or something down the road. We're going to take it to town um, and drive it around here pretty soon as well. That'll be an upcoming video. But uh, yeah, still some work to do, but man, whole new car. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you